There are places in the world which are being eaten away as sea levels rise. What's going to happen to them? Hey friends, it's Trace. Thanks for tuning in to DNews. Whether you call it global warming or climate change, this shiz is going down. It's happening. According to a study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, for every two degrees increase in global temperature, the seas will rise seven feet. That's huge. Sea levels are rising because of melting ice, yes, but also warming oceans. As you might remember from physics, warm things expand, and that includes water. But when you're talking about quintillions of gallons, even a small expansion can up sea levels. You've probably heard of the Maldives, they are having a lot of trouble with this, but so are places like Kiribati, a 33 island nation in the Pacific, and it's being affected right now. The 100,000 people that live on Kiribati's islands have already started to feel rising seas encroach on their way of life. Perhaps as soon as 30 years from now, their country will become uninhabitable. Because of seawater creeping into their fields, the government purchased 6,000 acres on nearby Fiji so that they could provide food security and a refuge if people become homeless. What? And they're not the only ones. The 350 archipelago chains of Panama are being lost to sea level rise as well. And though they're lucky to have the mainland of Panama to move on to, I guess, the indigenous Kuna people have lived there for thousands of years. And now, thanks to global climate screwery, their islands will be underwater in like 20 years. 20. Tuvalu is a famous island nation for two rather saddening reasons. One, they're like 10 feet above sea level, so they're slowly disappearing. And two, they blame two of the largest carbon emitters for destroying their nation and threaten to sue them in the International Court of Justice in The Hague. Those two countries? the US and Australia. Kiribati and the Maldives joined in the lawsuit, but it never came to fruition. The seas around Funafuti, which is the atoll Tuvalu is on, have risen about a quarter inch every year for the last decade. During World War II, US soldiers placed a gun embankment on a Tuvalu beach, and it's now 20 feet offshore. But this isn't just happening on tiny, far-flung Pacific islands. I mean, it's happened in there a lot, but it's happening also in the city of Venice. It's 118 islands built up over 1,500 years, and as sea levels increase two millimeters every year, they're trying to build seawalls to stop the oceans from getting in the city. But in the next 20 years, they'll be fighting 3.2 inches more ocean, with more coming in every year, more to splash around, more to flood, and more to try and hold back. And holding back the sea is only part of it. A warming climate means more intense storms, and higher levels mean bigger storm surges. The Sydney Opera House was built 11 feet above sea level and is only 41 years old, and scientists are already worried that the pier it's built on will be increasingly vulnerable to storm surges and extreme weather. A 2012 study by the US Geological Survey predicts sea levels on the eastern seaboard of the United States will rise three to four times faster than the global average. After Superstorm Sandy, Liberty Island, where New York's Statue of Liberty stands, was 75% underwater and Ellis Island was completely submerged. These monuments might seem like they'll be there forever, but as seas rise and the earth warms, we just don't know. How does stuff like this make you feel? Should island nations be able to sue carbon spewing ones? Tell us what you think in the comments below. We do actually read them, you know. And if you want more island facts, our friends at All Time Tens talked about 10 uninhabited islands. It's a pretty cool video. You can check it out by clicking on this link or the link in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody, and subscribe so that we can keep bringing you science every day.